Good evening, my name is Anna Jabońska and welcome to Poland Daily. Poland and European Commission may soon reach a face-saving deal. Such rumors appeared after consultations of Polish Minister of Foreign Affairs, Jacek Czaputowicz, and Deputy President of the European Commission, Franz Timmermans. Both sides expressed their willingness to reach an agreement and finally put an end to the dispute between Warsaw and Brussels. After the meeting, Minister Czaputowicz underlined that the Polish side is open to negotiations. He said that even though there is no consensus yet, the talks with Brussels are on the right path. We want to show some openness to the EU Commission's demands in order to end this dispute and deal with the issues important to the European Union. Poland meets the expectations of the European Commission, thus we expect that the Commission makes the right choice after the analysis of the materials provided. We have seen some developments in uh, the same. Uh, we follow them closely and we will analyze them uh, closely, but uh, I think uh, we have not seen uh, the end of the developments yet. The opposition parties in Poland do not seem to agree with the developments over in Brussels. These legislations break the operating rules of the European Union. I believe the European Commission should be intransigent and that it should use all its efforts to combat the doings of the ruling party. If I were the Commissioner, I would not budge an inch. The government sees this case differently. Concessions have been made, Poland changed the approach to the reforms, for example in the case of the so-called extraordinary complaint. I see this as a response to the expectations of the European Union. I believe that the last thing both Poland and the EU need right now is this dispute. On the other hand, these concessions do not disrupt the sole idea of the judiciary reform, so I don't see them as any kind of danger. Senator Jan Maria Jackowski points to the political background of the European Commission dispute. As he says, measures such as the one proposed by the Polish government are already at work in other European countries. I would say that the European Commission approached the subject from a political standpoint instead of a substantive one. I want to reiterate that this dialogue has been ongoing for a number of months, with the Polish side introducing the stance of the Polish government and made it clear that none of the measures undertaken in the judiciary reform deviate from the European standards. The ball is in the European Commission's court. Poland has put their concessions forward and, as Minister Czaputowicz said, we are expecting the Commission to make the right decision. What we know for sure is that the biggest sanction, which would be the implementation of the Article 7 against Poland, is no longer a threat. The European Commissioner for Economic and Financial Affairs, Pierre Moscovici, posted the EU economy estimates for the year 2018 on Twitter yesterday. The overall economy of the Union is set to grow by 2.3 percent. However, what is much more hopeful is the estimate for Poland. According to Moscovici, our country is leading the charge in Europe, as Poland is set to provide a 4.3 percent growth. That would place us before countries such as the Netherlands, Spain, Germany, France and Italy. Matura, or exit exam, that each and every graduate of high school in Poland must pass before entering university, is a tradition extending back to the Napoleonic Wars at the beginning of the 19th century. Exams are taken in early May and start with written essay of the Polish language. To pass the written part of the exam, the pupil must demonstrate extended knowledge of over 500 years of Polish literature, be able to put that into historical and cultural context, and from that prove that he is able to draw logical conclusions, all that with correct spelling and grammar. Today, graduates had to produce an essay on the following topic, longing, a destructive or building force for human life. Consider and justify your opinion by referring to the fragment of the novel Doll by Bolesław Prus and the selected text on culture. The essay written in the Polish language is only the first of several exams required to be passed by over 200,000 high school graduates. 
Matura is an exam that Poles remember vividly. Even older people can still recall the topic of their essay written several decades ago. The president of Poland, Andrzej Duda, and first lady, Anna Kornhauser Duda, in a special televised statement wished today's graduates much luck. Dear graduates, the exam you start today is one of the most important in your life. We want to assure you that we are with you and we keep our fingers crossed. This day is significant also for your parents and teachers who are supporting you all. You've spent a long time preparing yourself for this exam. This graduation exam is a recapitulation of your school learning, but also a watershed moment for your life. It is a key to future academic education and professional work. Use your knowledge well to show that you're up to the challenge, believe in yourself and not let them be surprised. Poland is waiting for you. Your talents, knowledge and creativity, you will build the future of our republic. Accept our warmest greetings and best wishes for the graduation exam. The best choices. By calling the Speaker of the Polish Senate an asshole, Holocaust denier and white nationalist, the mayor of Jersey City has worsened the cr crisis between the city's administration and Poles all over the world. The Polish-American community of the city was already furious about the decision of the mayor to remove a memorial dedicated to 22,000 murdered Poles. Now the mayor is adding fuel to the fire with his scandalous accusations. The mayor, Stephen Fulop, recently announced that the site of the memorial dedicated to a 22,000 Poles murdered by the Soviet Union in the 1940 Katyn massacre will be transformed into a park. Michael DeMarco, the CEO of Mark Cully, the real estate investment trust that is behind major building projects in the vicinity, has been given the responsibility for the new park. He has stated that he wants the memorial permanently removed, since it is gruesome and politically incorrect. It turns out that he also previously donated to $250,000 to Mayor Fulop's election campaign. The office of Stanisław Karczewski, the Speaker of the Polish Senate, is officially responsible for Polish diaspora affairs. He recently stated that it's scandalous for Mayor Fulop to remove the memorial without consulting the city's Polish Americans. Mayor Fulop responded to Karczewski on Twitter by saying, A known anti-Semite, white nationalist plus Holocaust denier like him has zero credibility, and followed up by calling Karczewski an asshole in a second tweet. Karczewski revealed today that he will contact Mike Pence regarding this issue. It would be better if the mayor focused on the issue instead. I was planning on writing him a letter, but after his verbal aggression, I will direct it to my counterpart in the US instead, President of the Senate, Mike Mike Pence. I will ask him to intervene in this case. Mayor Fulop will be fighting for his re-election later this year. It's safe to assume that he won't be able to count on the support of Jersey City's Polish-American community. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has decided to expel director Roman Polanski and actor Bill Cosby from its ranks due to ethical reasons. The decision has been made following the Harvey Weinstein sexual harassment scandal that broke out last year. The Board of Governors met on Tuesday and voted to remove Cosby and Polanski, who had been members since 1996 and 1969 respectively. The Board continues to encourage ethical standards that require members to uphold the Academy's values of respect for human dignity. I presume that unfortunately it won't purify the silver screen community, which is based on foul practices like sexual harassment. I fear that they found their two scapegoats, one black and one Polish Jew. The expelling of Cosby and Polanski is based on new procedures, which were set after the Harvey Weinstein scandal. The famous producer was expelled in October of 2017. The libertarian community of Hollywood has an enormous influence on the public opinion of the entire world, even on politicians. Harvey Weinstein alone financed many political campaigns and had plenty of congressmen bowing before him. No wonder the Hollywood community feels untouchable. The lawyer for Roman Polanski, Harlan Brown, stated in an interview with Vanity Fair that the Polish director will demand due process. We want due process, that's not asking too much of the Academy, is it?
to, że Akademia Filmowa... The fact that the Academy is now taking an interest in Polanski's case when the US government has been investigating him for years shows that it hasn't been a problem for Hollywood until now. For me, this is just another Hollywood comedy. After more than 40 years, the Academy has suddenly reminded itself of Polanski. It's a joke. Polanski, who received an Oscar for The Pianist in 2003, is wanted by the US judiciary since 1970. 77 when he fled the United States before the ruling of the Los Angeles court in the Samantha Geimer rape case. Thank you for watching Poland Daily and please join us tomorrow at the same time. Good night.